Hi guys, this design you see in front of you is just four principles away, four design principles away from becoming awesome. Yes, and I mean four design principles away from becoming awesome. So you might as well want to pause and guess. Okay, are you done? If you are done, if you got it right, congratulations. If you did not, you are here to learn, right? So those four design principles, number one, contrast, number two, alignment, number three, proximity, number four, repetition. In it, I mean, we might as well just use three, but let's start. So first thing first, this design does not look aligned. And when we speak of alignment, right, we also speak of margin and grid, okay? So first thing I will want to do is to create my create a layout grid. Okay, when I create a layout grid, this is what happens. I change it. So I do my plus here. I change the from grid to column grid. I make it twelve. Why? Because it's desktop, you know, responsiveness. Anyway, depending on your responsive strategy. So why I'm using twelve is because it could be six, it could be eight, it could be four, it could be two, it could be one. Right. So margin say make my margin say 90 i want more spacing at the side my gutter could be 24. all of these are just you know it's good principles and yeah yeah speaking of alignment i'm so sad design is making me so sad so let's start to align right but we're going to break that we're going to break the principle moving forward for alignment now the reason you know principle really is so you can know the, when you know principle on how to implement them rightly the right way you you know how to break them okay i'll show you how to break them okay so like we turn off the grid but before we turn off the grid i want to draw out my ruler why so i can take out this layout grid to give me more a, a, a cleaner um work area so i can you know see my design very well i mean see my layout very well so i'll take this off okay so alignment of course we align this okay and this one here we align touch the, the green line same here we align both of them i like to touch the green line okay same here touch the green line okay so basically everything is aligned another principle we want to put to work is principle of contrast so what does that mean i'm saying that what exactly am i focusing on what, what are the focal points right when what like what's important what are the pri what are your primary actions what are your primary elements or your secondary elements right when you do that when you when you hit the contrast the right way you'll be able to set hierarchy you'll be able to have more visual interest in your design i mean and there are several ways you can strike contrast to so size with color even with alignment i mean but like okay all right so like let's let's start with size okay so this element first thing they are too big 24 that matter so i want to make them 18 or 16 even less right so we have this i mean figma auto layout why because i can set my grid here properly so like my spacing properly so i use 56 but because if you times it keep on times it get to 56 somehow okay that's good here i might as well want to make this medium i'm making use of a vatican new ltsd i mean okay right so set others set others here make this 18 because of 24 and because they're like button button text that ought to be bigger you know so so i want to make this roman just regular so once you had auto layout here why because i want to have it it's still contrast remember i said we can strike contrast with color but i'm going to leave that out for now i mean it's not even hot if i apply it now so still Make it somewhere here, make it white. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll come to another principle 
and of course you can use spacing to strike contrast so if i had to imagine here see simple authentic it's not sad i mean it's not sad okay here we'll do here 16. right okay we have this now now the main area increase the size of this text blue it up i'm not scared anybody blue it up i mean that really looks like a masterpiece let me show you the preview you see you see you see the key Let's come back here this text i mean could actually increase the line I do this thing where you know one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That amount they, they, they must not be like more than seven texts in the line. Why? Wow, because when you put more than seven texts in the line, it overwhelms the reader already. So it's faster and easier for readers to to for, for your users to read shorter text. A text that are, might be long, but like don't make it the length should not be length. With to be yes should not be too too much yeah so yeah reduce the size 18 make it 18 say 18 okay make it 18 reduce this a little bit i mean it's a little bit then already looking good this right here is giving me i don't know what to do here yet we can make this bold roman so you see we did not even give it like make it bold or yet it's still looking it's already looking nice it's already looking nice why because with size you can strike contrast not just the width not what am i saying not just the width of your the width the width of your text right the size you can all right and so if you want to make it more interesting say say this it looks okay all right so now we want to go crazy speaking of contrast we can increase the size of this take it up a little bit increase the size of this you see does it look nice we could put it at we could put it in the middle right see respect our matching room I mean, we could we say we don't want to respect it and say how they like this. Take this up a little bit, right? So, speaking of principle of proximity, we want to apply that one now. So, it means that it's different the, the closeness between your text, if they're far apart, right? Kind of like it's not linking, it looks they are as though they are disassociated so as to, to you know, make emphasis on their related you know you could also bring them together sorry for my english i mean I, i'm not like the best in english but i'm going to right so okay yep so here make sure it's still aligned here make sure the text is not too far from here here you could say i could say 96 plus 8 i mean and try to make this like say 8 so apart from each other right but here i could want to this gtx is blah 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 i could want to condense it like this right that's why i like you know it's giving me it's giving me tickets as i want to go extend right depending really depends on how you want to get it in your I'm not feeling it I'm feeling it but I'm not feeling it it's it's not it's not 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 hitting me it's not at all it's a bold and extended okay till it this looks good let's do this that's nice 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 I want to condense this one normally just condense it normal normal thing. Hmm. 
this one extended for light. Okay. Turn black is from my concept. Okay, move. This one. Like this. Everybody will be alright. You sure for me? So everybody could be alright. Okay. So let's just leave everything that extended. I'm not really getting it. It's going to take a lot of time. So they are like, okay, so we already have this here. Yeah? But speaking of violating design principle, I'll turn, on, I'll turn on my grid here and I could say I want this alignment to hit me from. To hit from. I don't want it to start from this static, right? Why? Because I, I might as well have another action, action, <clears throat> action that is going to start from here, right? I'm going to start from here. I'm going to say a few more. Right, up you can see it's in my case. Okay, camera has come. View more and say, Yeah, this is this is auto layout, it's just from the auto layout area, knock it in the middle. You see, kind of like, I mean, see, so what happens? Alignment helps you create reading. You see, take note, alignment helps you create. Reading that's what we just did here. We created a reading. See the reading, the reading is here, here, click, here, here, click. So there's a reading, right? I mean, if I'm to pen it, you could see, say, ah, okay, Let's stroke this and make it dark. See, see. See the reading, but I swear even want to create another text that will go like this, that will go like this, that will go like this. So there is reading, there is reading, there is reading, there is reading, right? There is reading. Okay. All right. So yeah, guys, I want to make this a capital letter. So we must make it a little bit of convention. Let's do that. Yeah, make all of this capital letter. Right. And I'm feeling like. You fly right now. See, I mean, I don't you feel good about this already. I feel good. I yeah, guys, the background color is not black. It's no, it's not white. It's not white. It's a shade of this color. So I don't have to line my layers when they are considering the amount of white space that is being designed. To get make it space. 24 Great, I'm pretty much a freak when it comes to your element spacing. I mean, so repetition, repetition. So we, we repeated the reading. So the repetition could occur in different ways. Yeah, a repetition is at work. The fact that I actually did this, did this, did this, the same rule. It's repetition. Repetition is so you created this right reading, then you replicated this. If I want to do, say I won't do, I won't do, I could also replicate something here. Let me say other list. And it will still create a form of that reading, like something something disjointed somehow. I mean, just you know, rep you don't just have to, it's not just it's not all about repeating an element, you could repeat a reading, repeat sizing, repeat color, right? Tickets. So I might as well want to make this another color, say orange. The fact that I actually come here to repeat that is repetition enough. Like the principle is at work. Do you get? So it doesn't just have to be say you repeat an element to the same to the same. <clears throat> say I want to create pattern now in the background now. It's something maybe it has it. So I have to repeat the element and maybe it's a capacity. That's repetition still at work. I want to do other things. Say I want to draw a line. Here. I'm just like, I think we are done with the principle pretty much. We explained everything. If you have any question, hit me in the comment section. So we could bring this up. So we're bringing this up. In style. I bring this up. 
that element there. <sighs> Since G, we do a lot of kind of power. Do a lot of kind of power. I'll just flatten this text. Blue it up. Send it back. I mean, see, oh, oh, if I did design, see, I, I won't take design serious. See now, blue it up. I see, I mean, see now this text now, you know, somehow, I mean, somehow. I can't help you with that. Oh, so you know you. Okay, right, guys, so I think that's all for now. Thank you so much for waiting. 60 minutes already. I need to go. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, so practice, practice, practice. Knowing the principle is not enough, but knowing how to apply the principle the right way matters most, right? The more you practice what you know, the more you know. But practice. Okay, that was heat, but I'm gonna go do it right. Uh, bye.